Good morning. Today I'm heading into London. I have got a little audition um, and I've been in London a lot recently. Um, whenever I go in for an audition, I take my wheelchair. Sorry, I'm just getting ready. Whenever I go into London for an audition, I obviously go in my wheelchair. Um, and today it is at a new studio that I've not been to before. Uh, so I'm getting a bus, which I've never done with my wheelchair. Never mind in London, I've just never got a bus with my wheelchair. Um, so I'm currently scrolling on TikTok um, and looking at other wheelchair users getting buses. This video is the one that has helped me the most. It is the transport for all video. Um, so I should know how to do it. Um, I just hope the driver actually puts the ramp down. But I've learned recently to live in a state of delusion. I think I said that in a video ages ago. I've learned that if I live in a state of delusion, just assume it's all going to be fine. And it's probably going to be fine. So let's all keep our fingers crossed for that. Um, obviously, like my lines, I'm not even like, I don't even think about auditions um, because I enjoy them, because I enjoy acting. Um, I just go in and have a good time, meet new people, have fun. Um, and then, hi, you don't, I nearly poked your hump it. I just go in, meet new people, have a fun time. And then today, I think we're going to do a little bit of exploring afterwards because normally I have to head straight back to Manchester, but not today. Um, so I think me and my dad are going to maybe explore Battersea. I haven't been, I don't think I've ever been to Battersea, but um, they've just done up the power station into all shops and food and everything. So I think we're going to explore that, but that is nowhere near the audition. So that requires more travel. Um, and we're just gonna have to see how it goes. So obviously I'm bringing Ego. <laughs> to London, we're here, um, and now we're gonna get a bus. <laughs> we're at the bus stop, Euston is just over there, so we've literally just crossed the road. And now we wait for the bus. I believe they will just put the ramp out. It should be easy, and then you just tap in and tap out, is what everyone else was saying. So let's see if that's true. <laughs> the audition we are nearly there here we are the audition is complete that took two seconds we did the scene done and now i let dad go to prep so i'm gonna go and meet him this is why i always plan something else to do on my day because i've come all the way into london for an audition so um we're gonna go to battersea and i had a look on um, Google Maps and it is literally just one bus so that'll be good made it to Pret and there's my father got myself a little Pret snack I love looking at people's fashion as they're walking around yeah there's been some absolute there's a woman with a little dog she was cleaning like some kind of model or something didn't she? And just like that we're on bus again and we're gonna head over the river to Battersea made it off the bus and we are going in this lift um, and then we'll be walking along the Thames and South Bank's actually my favourite part of London I would probably say. I'm hoping this lift's working. So we're going down this. I'm personally very pleased to be off that bus as something I hadn't anticipated was travelling backwards when you can't see out the windows. Doesn't it feel a little bit sick? So I'm glad to be back on solid ground. We got to the bottom and the lift doors won't open so I think the lift might just be broken, so we're going to find a different way. 
the alternative route has brought us to more stairs. I found a secret hidden lift. Yes. We made it down that lift and now we're by the river. <laughs> Yeah, this is my new favourite place by far and, and we've not even been inside yet, but look at that building, the scale of it. Oh, I'm so excited to go inside. This place is crazy. The architecture of all of these flats, and that's the actual power station, it is like the most beautiful place I've ever been. Everywhere is so spacious, so clean, it smells amazing. Um, we're gonna get some food and do some shopping, I think. I might have convinced Dad to go to Lululemon. For lunch, I got a lamb quesadilla type thing, some guac and some chips, yeah. I may or may not have ended up in the Lululemon changing rooms. Just a few options, because I just, I need, I need some bits for summer, of course. Okay, so I'm really trying to like my legs in shorts, and it's taking its time, because I just feel like I'm so bad sat down. Because like, the waist looks good, it looks good here, I just think, yeah, I see what you mean. like, I'm big fat girly. I just don't know how I feel about it. I like the colour though. Okay, I've got the top on and a little flared. I've never gone for a flared leg. But I think I quite like it sat down. I think I really like the little flare leg sitting down. I think I don't think they look bad. And I really like the leg. Success. Lululemon. Just bought a flared trouser. Just bought a flared legging. It's arriving to my house in the next three to five days. And then I will show you. We were meant to be home on the train by four. It's currently four. So that's not happening. So it means we just get to explore a little bit more. And I'm very, these necklaces keep tucking in. I'm very excited. The girls in that Lululemon were so, so nice and helped me so much. So I've ended up with a bright color and a flare. My dad chose the flare and it looks really good sitting down. I think I showed you the black pair. And I've gone for them in a bright blue because the black blended in too much with the share. So I'm very happy. We are now sitting outside. There's a big, big grassy area with all dirty chairs on it. So we're sitting out here and that's the power station behind me. It is crazy. I'm having the loveliest day. And because we aren't gonna make it for a train, we're just gonna chill and take in the vibes and get the train later. So I rang mum and I told her and she said that Ralph's being a really good boy. So that makes me very happy indeed. Um, I don't know if I want to do any more shopping just because I don't need to spend any money. But I really like spending money, I'm really good at it. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. We're having such a nice time sitting here. We're not moving yet. Um, I never normally sit and just be, but today I am. Dad went to the shop and has bought these. I am so excited. So we're just gonna have these looking at London. I'm excited. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? We mooched into Battersea Park. I have got an caramel iced latte or a vanilla iced latte. I think I have vanilla. Don't forget to get butter in. Yeah, I got a vanilla iced latte. Dad got a hot coffee because he's addicted odd to coffee. and addicted to coffee. And this is what we've set in front of. We found the Peace Pagoda and it is just so nice. And this park is so busy. It's just everyone is running, everyone is cycling, and it is so nice. Very London y. Very London, and we're just sitting. It's 6 06. It's 6 o'clock, and look at how sunny it is. I will say, the biggest problem I've encountered today is my smart drive battery life. When I'm at work um, and when I'm filming and stuff, I, I have four bars of charge and it lasts me all day. No problem, multiple days. When I lived in Liverpool, I probably only charged it maybe 10 times maximum and I lived there for a year. The batteries always lasted me so well. But today in London, it's been horrific. 
So when you switch it on, it shows you how much charge. Anxiety. We've got one, one bar, just one. So I've turned it off a few times and um, I've been pushing with my arms, but it's actually my forearms and my hands and my thumbs. They just, it just, it hurts. Oh, that's gonna be a blister actually. Anyway, occupational hazard. But yeah, I would say that's been the trickiest thing is because I love exploring London. And if I didn't have range anxiety on my charge, then I would probably keep going forever and I'd come back and back. But that's gonna be a regular occurrence. My four bars of charge will never last me a whole day in London. Um, and I might just have to accept that. But other than that, it's been a lovely day, isn't it? Wonderful day. Me and my dad nearly made the girl in Lululemon cry because we were just talking about how every event I go to, dad chooses my outfit and how dad is like an absolute fashionista. And she had moved from Australia to London and she was missing her dad, wasn't she? Yeah. And um, so she was literally crying at how good a bond we've got. And I do think we're very lucky in that sense. We've always very been lucky. very close. I think medically, life has brought us closer, but we were always close. We've always been a little daddy's girl. And I love it. Exploring with my dad. And I'm not being mean and not putting him on camera. That's his choice. That's my choice. That's his choice. I've decided it's the time to use my final bar. I'm going. I'm going. I've used my final bar because once I'm on the bus, I don't need to use it. And then I'll be at the train station and then I'm going home. So I'll be fine. <laughs> We've died. <laughs> no power. None. <laughs> the light went off. I stopped mid push. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been <laughs> I've been overtaking my two sausage dogs. I also can't roll on the gravel, so we're rolling on the road, just in the cars and everything. <laughs> so, so now we're honestly the most annoying distance from the bus stop, which is exactly what Dad said. Because I it will die just as we're at the most annoying bit. When's it died? When we're on a hill. So, <laughs> so now <laughs> got <a> push. <laughs> Up this bloody hill. There we go. <laughs> I look the other thing that's very annoying for my dad is how high these handles are, or therefore are not. They're not very high, um, and they don't raise, and they're at a very weird angle. They're a bit like that, and you need them a bit like that. Um, not happy. It's like pushing a child's like toy pram. Keep going straight. <laughs> but we're nearly at the bus stop now. You just got to go over the big bridge. Oh. Over the bridge. <laughs> now I'm having a lovely leisurely roll across the bridge because that's pushing me. Dad's been pushing and we're on the bridge and we've been going up and now we've swapped and we start going downhill. We went, right, Ellie, you can push now. My first push and my blister on my thumb rips because of my wheelchair handles. So no pushing for me or the pushing for Dad. It's been a busy day, lads. That's from the extra grippy bit. Cause I, I, I must push, uh, I must push like that. Mm. We made it to the bus. We've got six minutes until he leaves. He's on his break. Um, and I've decided this time to transfer out of my wheelchair because I felt a bit sick going backwards. Um, and there's no one on the bus at the minute. So I've parked him, he's got his brakes on and I'm here in the priority seats anyway. Sorry, that's good. Got a long bus ride through London. And I love it. I'm just going to watch the world go by. Do you remember when Big just wiping poo off me? And Dad is going to put a plaster on my blister. It's home time. I'm getting the train back. And the sun is still out. And it's like 8 o'clock. I'm home, back with Chester. Ralphie's here too, aren't you, Ralphie? And I'm gonna call it a night. So thank you very much for coming along with me. I've had a wonderful day. Had a wonderful day. Have you had a good day? Yeah, he's had a good day. He's tired. And I'll see you in the next video. Won't we, Chester? Bye.